Okay, everybody, we are live here. We're just going to give this a moment to make sure we are syncing up here. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. We're here at Snyder Primary School. We have a live Q&A session to answer all of your questions about pre-K and kindergarten roundup. Y'all want just want to introduce yourselves right quick? Sure. I'm Courtney Boyd, the assistant principal here. I'm Kenita Rhodes, the principal. Melinda Lominguez, a pre-K uh, bilingual teacher. Okay, and so it looks like we have people jumping on. Um, if you all have questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. We're going to be monitoring those comments throughout. And if we don't get to your question, during the presentation today, then we will answer your question afterwards. So don't feel like we've left you out. Um, okay, so normally we've got pre-K and kindergarten roundup going on, but obviously that's not happening. Uh, we're making plans to do something different. Do y'all wanna go over a little bit about what those plans look like? You bet. So at this time in any other year, we would already have our pre-K roundup and already been in contact with our parents to have um, incoming pre-K students and kindergarten students, but our, our plan now is we are waiting um, to see if, if, if this coronavirus uh, thing will be lifted so we can actually get you guys in somehow um, for enrollment. We, we want you guys to be able to come in because there, there's a lot of things that go on, especially with um, kindergarten. Well, and pre-K, it's your first time to enroll in school, and so um, we want that to be um, a special time for everyone. And so our plan is, is to do our enrollment June 22nd through the 26th, the end of June, and we will have more information um, going forward about that, but I know we've had a lot of parents asking, when is it, when is it, because they know it should have already been happening and we don't want you to feel like you're missing anything so that June 22nd through the 26th is whenever we will actually do that enrollment. You, would you, you want to translate? A este tiempo ya estaríamos haciendo aplicaciones para los niños que entrarán a pre-kinder o kinder. Debido al virus no hemos podido hacer nada al día de hoy. Este, estamos trabajando en fechas para que puedan venir y a uh, inscribir a sus hijos. Personalmente, hay mucha información que tienen que saber y llenar. Ahorita la fecha está para el 22 al 26 de junio. Este, mandaremos más información vía email, al igual que por Facebook. All right, so let's start with uh, pre-K. First of all, there are some things that you can start uh, doing as a parent to get your documents together. So when June is here, you have all that information and you're ready to go and you're not having to go back home and try to get some more information. So if you have a pre-K student, you need to have their birth certificate, a social security card. Four. Oh yes. By the by September first. They have to they have to be four by September first. If they are already turning five, then they would be a kindergarten student. If they are not four by September first, then, then they will not qualify for our pre-K um, program because we are a four-year-old program and so, so the documents that you will need for that you want to say something quickly los niños para pre-kinder califican mientras cumplan cuatro años el primero de septiembre si cumplen cinco sería para kinder y ocupan preparar uh, documentos okay so uh, the documents that you'll need you'll need their birth certificate social security card and then for you as the parent or guardian, we need an ID, uh, some sort of document that shows that you live in Snyder ISD um, area. So uh, a gas bill, a phone bill, a water bill, anything like that. And then our pre-K program is a qualification program. And so there are several qualifications um, that you have to have to, to qualify for pre-K. If you are enrolled in the SNAP program, you automatically qualify, and all we will need is your SNAP number. You can also qualify uh, as a free and reduced lunch student, and we just need a, either a um, an income, some sort of check stub, 
or it, some, something that shows your income that we, we showed that you're eligible based on your income. If you are an, an English learner, if you do not speak English, then that student qualifies. If the student does not speak English, I should say, then they qualify. Um, if you're, if you're it's a child of a military, active military, or a military person that was killed or injured in the line of duty, they also qualify. If they were ever in foster care, if they are homeless, if they are a migrant, and if they are a child of a peace officer, firefighter, or emergency medical first responder that received the Star of Texas Award, then they would also qualify. So those are some qualifications. Um, Ms. Dominguez, can you remember all those? Yeah. Los niños necesitarán su seguro social, la tarjeta de seguro social, acta de nacimiento. Uh, los padres tienen que traer un recibo de luz, agua, a uh, gas, um, certificando que vive en el distrito de Snyder. Este, uh, uh, comprobar cuánto gana, porque está, uh, para calificar para Triquinde tienen que ganar cierto dinero, así que un talón de cheque o este, algo que, que diga cuánto está ganando usted para que califique. Si agarra estampillas, automáticamente va a calificar o está en algún pro programa que sea bilingüe o que sea migrante, uh, también puede calificar. Okay. So that's some pre-K qualifications. Um, kindergarten, most of the documents are the same. Ms. Boyd, you want to go over those? All of the documents will be the same for kindergarten. Um, the only thing that we do not require for kindergarten would be the proof of income. Um, because kindergarten is just based on um, as long as you're five uh, before September uh, 1st, then you'll be able to come to kindergarten. That's the only document I believe that we don't need, um, but everything else, um, if you're registering a kindergarten student, will be the same. Sorry, I'll say that last. We don't need they anything can do, if you, yeah. um, whenever you do register for um, kindergarten, you'll be able to fill out the free and reduced form um, for lunch as well. It'll all be in that same packet, so everything will be together um, whenever you register your student. The other thing uh, for pre-K is if you were enrolled in JETS, our Head Start program here, as a three-year-old, then you automatically qualify um, for our four-year-old pre-K um, program, and and so that is, that is new for this year. We will be having the four-year-olds um, from JETS on this campus, and we're excited to have that partnership with our, our JETS people. Si sus hijos de tres años están uh, yendo al programa de JETS, a la guardería, automáticamente van a calificar. Tendrán que venir a llenar la aplicación. Este, y para Kinder, son los mismos requisitos, excepto no, no tienen que entregar el comprobante de su talón de cheque. Okay, so that's our pre-K program. Did you Yes, ma'am. We have one question as far as income levels. Mm -hmm. um, is there a, a grid that explains, like if you have a family of five, how, how does that there work? There is, and it's on the um, de uh, Department of Agriculture's website. Um, it's, it's based on something that they actually put together. And so it's based on your income and then the number of people that are in your household. And there's an actual formula um, that the Department of Agriculture goes um, by to qualify, which is the same the same guidelines as if you qualify for free and reduced lunch. The difference with pre-K is we have to have that documentation of a check stub or something that actually shows your income, or if you're just filling out the free and reduced form for kindergarten and up, you do not have to show um, that documentation. Alguien preguntó acerca de si hay una gráfica acerca del dinero que uno hace y la cantidad de miembros en la familia. Hay algo en una este, página de línea, uh, pero se basa en lo que gana, cuánta gente vive en su casa, y luego hay una fórmula para determinar eso. Okay, All right. great, thank you. So we want to move on to kindergarten, some information from kindergarten. Courtney, you want to do that? So we talked a little bit about the kindergarten registration. Um, one thing that we did want to talk about, I don't know if this is where you want to throw this out, but we'll just go ahead and do it. Um, starting in kindergarten, I know a lot of you have questions about our Gomez and Gomez dual language um, program. And we have, um, we have, it start, technically it starts in pre-K, 
with a one-way program where all of those students are native Spanish speakers. Um, the two-way model is the model that um, you've probably heard about where we start integrating some of the native English speakers into the program. Um, and we are actually going to have, normally, again, we would be having parent meetings um, at this time, but uh, we've actually come up with a kind of an alternative plan for now, and we're gonna do some virtual online parent meetings. Um, I'll give you these dates really quickly. Uh, we're gonna have our first one on Monday, May 4th at 6.30. Uh, the next one will be Wednesday, May 13th at one o'clock. And then the last one will be Thursday, May 21st at 6.30. Um, we are asking that if you are interested in um, learning some more information about that program, if um, you will actually, well, we're gonna create a form uh, for you to fill out if you're interested in getting some more information about that program. That'll probably go out um, sometime this afternoon. It'll be posted on face our Facebook page, the Standard ISD Facebook page, um, our website. Uh, it'll, it'll be all over the place. So if you're interested in learning uh, some more information about that for your incoming kindergarten student, then uh, you can register, register for that and we can email you the Zoom link for those meetings. And that is only for English speaking students wanting in the dual language mm -hmm. program. The Spanish speaking students that are either enrolling in kindergarten, um, of course they'll have to go through a process of testing for that and Ms. Dominguez can kind of explain that mm -hmm. as well. Acaba de hablar del programa dos lenguas que empieza en kinder para los niños que hablan solamente inglés. Um, los niños que ya están conmigo en pre-K, que ya calificaron para bilingüe, eh, automáticamente van a entrar al programa de dos lenguas en kinder. Este, los de habla inglés tienen que hacer examen y uh, calificar, aplicar para poder entrar a ese programa. Uh, mis niños automáticamente van a estar allí, así que no tienen que hacer nada ustedes. So basically, birth certificate, did I say shot records before? No. Shot records. So as a parent, I never knew what shots my kids needed coming into school. And so if you're that parent also, what uh, I would do is reach out to um, one of our nurses here on campus. Her name is Wendy Prince, and we'll post her email there where you can reach out to her and ask her questions as to exactly what shots your student needs before they uh, can, can come to school, and she will give you all that information. Y también ocupan traer este comprobante de las vacunas. Si tienen preguntas, le vamos a dar el email de la enfermera Wendy Prince para que le puedas mandar un mensaje, un email para preguntarle lo que quieras preguntar acerca de las vacunas. And she can help you with that. So birth certificate, social security card, shot records, uh, the parent or guardian ID, and then proof of uh, that you live here in Snyder. Any other questions? questions? We have had some questions come in. Um, let me go back and we can kind of read them in order. So kids that go to JETS that are four automatically are accepted. Do we have to register or will they transfer over? They will transfer over, but there's some information um, that we require that JETS may not require. And so there may be some paperwork that they are accepted you know, into there, but you will have to um, fill out some paperwork. And then we have some online registration, as, as you past parents know, um, that gives us uh, permission to, for your child to go on field trips and all those other things that you can actually sign on the computer. And so there is a little bit of paperwork and, and stuff that you have to do online, but there's not a whole lot. So that will become available then at the end of June, yes. assuming that we can move forward. We do have a backup. We're working on a backup plan should we, we have to do a virtual, but we're hoping that last week of June that we're able to do that, correct? Yes. Okay. And piggybacking on that question, if you have a kiddo who's um, in, technically enrolled in pre-K this year, they will automatically roll over into kindergarten for next year also. Um, the only thing that you'll have to do at the beginning of the 2021 school year will be the online registration piece that Ms. Rhodes was talking about. So you don't have to 
come back up here and fill out new registration paperwork or anything like that for your incoming kindergarten student. Hubo una pregunta acerca de los niños que están yendo a JEP, si automáticamente se van a venir para acá. Sí califican, pero tienen que venir a llenar la aplicación de registración a, a fines de junio. Los niños que están ahorita en pre-K solamente tendrán que hacer lo de línea, eh, que sería en agosto, yo creo, para más seguro. Okay, okay. Um, another question that came in. Proof of income as of what dates when applying for the pre-K program? Great question. Yeah, that is a good question. Um, normally, it's your most recent pay stub. If you, when, so at the end of, when we register the end of June, we want it to be the most recent one that you've had prior to that. Okay. La pregunta fue el talón de cheque. Y nos gustaría que fuera el más reciente, el último que ha recibido usted. Okay, and just a clarifying question for pre-K age requirements. Fourth birthday is September 26. Can that be a late start? Or would they have to wait until the next school year? They would have to wait till the next school year. They have to be four uh, by September 1st of this school year to be, uh, to be eligible for pre-K. Okay. Um, Alguien preguntó de una fecha del 26 de septiembre. Tienen que cumplir cuatro años para el primero de septiembre para calificar para este año. Okay, I had another question, but it's disappeared, so let me, let me see if it pops back up. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, if, if our kids were in JETS and they're going to kindergarten this next year, how do we get to the registration online with the rollover? Okay, so if they were in JETS last year and they're going straight to kindergarten, they will have to fill out our kindergarten packet. Um, it, it's about three pages, it's not extensive, but they still need to bring in their birth certificate and those things so we can make a copy uh, of those documents. But um, if they're a JETS three-year-old going into our four-year-old pre-K program, again, they will automatically qualify based on the fact that they qualified for JETS as three-year-olds. Uh, but we will just need a little information. So if you have any questions or concerns or you, you don't know if you need to show up uh, the end of June, um, just call that main number um, with the school district and they can get you in contact with one of us and we can answer any questions that you have. Si tienen preguntas o no saben bien si califican o no o qué hacer, um, llamen al número que está en nuestra página Okay, that question came back up. Is pre-K all day? Yes, it is. Pre-K is all day. Preguntaron si pre-K es todo el día. Sí, es todo el día. Okay, anybody else have any questions that we can answer for you? Go ahead and submit them in the comments. Diane... Venegas says, love you all and miss you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we miss you guys too. Okay, anything else that y'all can think of that you want to answer? Uh, you want to No, clarify? just be looking. If you're interested in the dual language program for your incoming kindergarten student, just be looking for that form. Um, we'll send that out probably this afternoon. And go ahead and fill that out so we can get you some information about the virtual online meetings. Um, okay, here we go. We've got a couple of more. What after school programs are available and are there requirements for those? So the after we do have our ACE after school which uh, is available for both pre-K and kindergarten. That's a different application and so, <clears throat> excuse me, during our online registration There'll be an extra uh, form that you have to fill out if you're interested in your student attending ACE, which is after school. Last year, I believe it went till six mm -hmm. or 6.30. Um, there are um, you know, stipulations. You can't just come and pick up your kid at four every day. They have to stay uh, for a certain number of hours every day, so. And if you're interested in that, they have a, a Facebook page. I think, what is it, Snyder ASD ACE, maybe? Mm -hmm. Um, you can go check them out. They've got a ton of information on their Facebook page and contact information. So if you have any other questions, they would they could definitely answer it a little bit more specifically. 
Alguien preguntó si hay programas después de clases, después de escuela. Tenemos el programa ACE, um, cuando llenen los papeles o eh, la aplicación uh, por internet, hay una página que puede llenar para eso. Um, ellos deciden quién califica y no, y el año pasado estaban este, abiertos hasta las 6 de la tarde. Ok, um, we've got another question here. Will there be pre-K packets to pick up? Right now, we're hoping that uh, we're just registering here on site. That way, um, you can fill everything out. You have all your documentation. Hopefully, um, we, we can get everything in the system so then your online piece can also be done at that time and then you're done. And you don't have to worry about coming back up here. Um, there'll be people here to help. Now, if, if, it, if our situation changes to where we can't make that available where you can come into the school, then, the, yeah, there's going to be some other arrangements where maybe you can pick one up and then we'll have a, a drive-through, <laughs> a drive-by, a drive-by pre-K and kindergarten uh, roundup. But for now, we're planning on having just a regular registration. It's just two, three months later than normal. Mm -hmm. And just be watching our Facebook page, um, the Snyder SD Facebook page, for any updates because we'll be we'll be putting out more specific information, uh, you know, closer to time. Alguien preguntó si pueden a, a recoger una aplicación para pre-K. Uh, el plan el día de hoy que estamos trabajando es que el 22 al 26 de junio pueden venir, entrar, llenar la aplicación, traer todos los documentos que necesitan, uh, hacerlo de línea y preparar todo aquí. Si llegara a cambiar la situación, les daremos a saber. A uh, miren Facebook, uh, mensajes que mandaremos este, y les, de, les diríamos qué pasaría o qué cambios haría. Okay, we have two more questions that I see here. Um, if my child is in PPCD now, will they be in PPCD next year? If so, how do I register? Is next year going to be normal? So I'll take that question. If your kiddo is in PPCD right now, um, for the most part, if we haven't had a meeting discussing their placement for next year, everything should stay the same. Um, if we have an upcoming meeting to, dis to discuss, you know, yearly progress, um, then we'll discuss placements for next year at that point. Um, but your kiddo is registered, good to go, um, everything will just kind of roll over and then they'll just have to update the information on the online registration piece um, closer to time. Alguien preguntó si tienen un niño en PBCD, um, si automáticamente se iría al siguiente, uh, la clase o el, el grado. Um, si no han hablado con ustedes, sí, todo este, estará bien listo para, para su niño, este, y nomás tendrá que llenar la información en línea. And so if you don't know for sure, if your student was in PPCD this year and you're not for sure where they're going, yeah. just call us, yeah. just call us and we can help you out. Y si no saben el proceso que va a ser el niño que está en PBCD, háblenle a, a la oficina y le daremos información. Or if they're in PBCD right now, I think we're both connected to um, those Class Dojo apps uh, for both of those classrooms. So whenever you go on your Class Dojo to send a message to whoever your teacher is, um, our name should be listed under there. So if you have any specific questions about your PPCD student, um, that's probably one of the faster ways to get a hold of us at this time. Okay, and JETS is on here as well, and they're saying they are happy to assist any of their JETS students with the transition. So, um, I'm so excited to have that partnership with JETS. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, and just if you're just joining in late, late, we will review the dates for you right quick. Basically, a summary is we're, we're postponing the actual registration process to try to get a physical registration in. Um, that last week of June is what we're looking at. And all of these dates, we will post those on our website this afternoon, SnyderISD.net, as well as our Facebook pages. Um, we'll send it out through Dojo. Any communication means that we can, we're going to get this information out. Um, and then also we will have a link to the dual language program um, interest form. You can complete that. I'll just ask for your name, your child's name. We'll need an email address from you so that we can send you the link to that uh, Zoom meeting 
These will replace the in-person meetings that we typically have um, each year uh, for people that are interested in enrolling their child in the dual language program. And that is for kindergarten students. That's kindergarten that's, only. That's mm -hmm. the only grade level um, that, that English speaking kids can get into the dual language program is in kindergarten. Right. And so, um, yes, Miss Kate is reinforcing that. That's correct. So we'll have that information up as well, as well as a summary of this presentation. And if you hopped in late, that's okay. This is going to be saved to our Facebook page. You can go back and rewatch it. We'll also post it on our, our website as well. We'll get this downloaded and added to the website. Um, so if there's something that you want to go back and listen to, you can certainly do that. Or you can always email us too. Um, if you go to our website and you click on the at home learning hub, about midway down the page, we have a comprehensive list of emails. So if you have a question for the primary school, you can find primary school emails. If you just happened on here and you have a question for any of the other campuses or a technology question, that's all on there too. Um, and then just a good general email address. If you're not sure who to email, you can always email questions at snyderisd.net and we will get your um, question as well. And um, Megan Ramirez, you just asked, can you tell us what types of testing or qualifications is needed for the dual language program? That is one of the things they will go in depth yes. into in those parent meetings. Um, and those meetings are a requirement. We are, if, if you are interested in your student being considered for the d dual language, we require that the parents meet with us um, because it's, it's an accelerated program and we want you to know every uh, ahead of time everything that's required not only by your student but for you as parents and so it's important um, for us to, to be able to visit with you about those things so uh, those those meetings will give you a lot more information about the dual language and and how all the testing is done okay and I'm going to also reply to her comment with the dates for those meetings um, and then again we'll we'll have all of this on our website we'll post a a comprehensive kind of summary of the dates on our Facebook page too. Um, give us just a bit to get that all pulled together and we'll get it on on our website and Facebook pages as well. Todo lo pondrán en Facebook y en nuestra, en nuestro enlace de Snyder ISD. Toda la información que hemos hablado hoy, las fechas, los documentos que van a ocupar para inscribirnos en pre-k o kinder. Uh, al igual cualquier pregunta, por favor, manden uh, un email ahí en la uh, Snyder ISD, en la mitad de la página, tienen uh, diferentes emails de cualquier escuela o persona, por favor, uh, si tienen preguntas, manden sus mensajes. Okay. All right. Well, we are right at about 30 minutes. Um, we've had a great turnout. I don't see any other questions coming through. Is there any last words that you want to say to our, our audience? We're excited. Yeah. We, we miss all of our, our normal routines and our kids, and we're ready to get back in, in school and get this going. We're excited for all of the new students that are coming to. Estamos emocionadas de nuestros nuevos alumnos que vendrán el próximo año. Um, extrañamos a los del día de hoy. Uh, extrañamos la rutina, eh, a ustedes, sus caras, um, la escuela y todo. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. Okay, thank y'all. And like I said, I'll go back through and look at these comments. If I missed any of the questions, we will go back through and answer them. Um, and then we will also have a summary on our Facebook pages and websites. So thanks for joining us today.